Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In this video, we are going to see how we can install a CentOS virtual machine on any Windows machine. So for the sake of the demo, I have chosen Windows 10 and on top of it, I am going to install CentOS 8. So to achieve this, first what we have to do is we have somewhere installed Windows 10 and then we have to install a hypervisor kind of thing here i am going with the vmware workstation you can install oracle virtual box also and on top of it we are going to install the centos so let's see how we can do all these three things in this demo so you can download this vmware workstation 16 from this url which i am going to provide in the description also so this is the vmware workstation 16 player for windows we can see it is available for the students or non-commercial use and also for the commercial use. So for the sake of the time, I have already downloaded this VMware workstation and now I am going to install it on my Windows 10. The installation of the workstation is as simple as the installation of any other Windows installer where we have to double click on that uh, exe and then we have to just click next, next, next and choose the location where we have to install it. Then we can install it. So here I am going to just accept the license and clicking next. Accepting one of the VMware customer experience improvement program. This is optional. And then creating some shortcuts for the desktop and the startup menu and then click install. It is going to take some time to install this installer. So we can skip those installation part. So now you can see that the installation is completed. We have to just click finish and that installation of the VMware Workstation 16 is completed now. Now what the next thing we have to do is to download that CentOS what we want to install on that hypervisor or the workstation. So we have already completed the two prerequisites where we have installed our uh, Windows and VMware Workstation. Now this is the third prerequisite which I am going to download which is CentOS version 8. Now you can see I am going to download that CentOS version. I will provide the link also in the description. You can go and download it from there. Now it is going to take some time so we can skip the downloading part and then move ahead to the next step. As the downloading of the ISO is completed, I have opened the VMware Workstation 16. You can open it by clicking on the Start menu and then going to the VMware Workstation 16 and clicking Open. When you open, you will get this window. To create a new virtual machine, you have to click that Create a new virtual machine uh, icon. And then from here, you have to browse to the location where you have downloaded that ISO. So I am just pointing this browse to my ISO location. So you can see it. this is my ISO and I am pointing it to my browse location. So yes, now I have pointed it to my browse location. And then And then click next here we have to provide that uh, some of the information like what is the username and that root password so those things here we can set it down
instead of root I am creating a new user by giving my name and then click next that's the virtual machine name I have provided and these are the very simple things which we can provide uh, at the time of creating that virtual machine so here I am providing the RAM size what is the minimum uh, RAM size I want to provide there is also the minimum hard disk size which is 20 GB by default now you can see I am clicking next here and then the RAM size by default it is giving is 1 GB I am trying to modify it here we can modify by uh, clicking next here uh, and then this edit configuration hardware here the RAM size is saying 1 GB I am making it to 2 GB this you can configure according to your system uh, configuration I have 8 GB so I am making it as a like 2 GB for my virtual machine and then clicking next so now my VMware Workstation 16 is going to create a CentOS virtual machine on top of my Windows machine so here it is just doing that installation part of my CentOS it is downloading that uh, VMware tools that is the Linux tool uh, used to communicate between our VMware workstation and the virtual machine which we are creating on top of this VMware workstation so this is a VMware tool which it will download for some information it want to show so you can see it here it is going to create I am just choosing my uh, keyboard layouts and these are things you will get also when you are trying to install any CentOS on a directly physical hard disk and not as a virtual machine so these are the general things you will get while installing the CentOS I am setting my uh, time and date format here it is my okay location is I have set here and then there are the different options it has provided you can go and create a custom uh, user also at the time of installing the CentOS so here I am going to create some user as Prakash you can see it here I am creating the user Prakash and providing the passwords and click done so once I will do this part I am going to install this CentOS on my VMware Workstation 16 it will be getting installed as a virtual machine also So once this virtual machine is installed on your VMware, VMware workstation, you can play along with and learn a lot of things on Linux commands and different configuration what we can do into the Linux system. Now here it is starting that CentOS which we have just installed on that VMware workstation. You can see here uh, it has created a user Prakash and I can give my password which I have given at the time of installation and then login into this so once I have given my password I am signing into the CentOS 8 yes we have created that virtual machine on a Windows 10 system here you can play along with the CentOS operating system I have opened a browser here to show that we have we are actually running a virtual machine on top of Windows 10 everything is working here you can you can browse from your virtual machine and also uh, some commands also you can run for that I will I will show you how to open a terminal here and run the basic commands so just go here and open a terminal and here you can see yes this is the terminal and I am running that if config command to show you that IP which VMware workstation has provided to this centers 
So this is the basic thing uh, I have performed on that virtual machine by opening a browser and opening a terminal, running some commands. You can do a lot of things and you can use this virtual machine as you are using your normal systems. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please write it in comment section. Have a great day.